This is the most complete roadmap for HTML who wants to become a full stack blockchain developer. In this video, we'll learn about the syntax that what are the tags you have to know in HTML, how you have to know, and after learning this, what project you can include to enhance your understanding and it will help you a lot in building full stack dap i don't want you to focus on those tags just focus on those important tags which you can use and gradually you will learn when you will start working on the project so here is the couple of syntax which i want to highlight the first one is we have is html tag you have to know the purpose of this html tag and how it's going to work so this is the root element that's wrapped the entire html document so whatever you're going to write that's all going to become inside this html tag then comes the header tag. In this header tag, we generally keep all the important metadata about our application. And so if you're building a Solidity Smart Contract Auditor DAB, so inside this header section, you're going to mention all the metadata, like what is the name of the application, what is the description, what is the SEO descriptions, and you're going to link all the titles. And then comes the title, and that you're going to define that what is the name of your application. And this tag generally comes in the header section now then comes the body tag and this body tag generally contain the entire html of our application which we use which we create for writing and building the logic then we have a couple of important heading tags so as you know that if you look at the blog post there is a heading the main topic of the blog post then we have some subheadings then we have them some categories so h1 stand for the main heading then you go gradually down as per your subheading so you have to know what is h1 what is h2 what is s3 what is h4 what is h5 and what is s6 because when you will build your the application you have to know that how you can utilize it and it help you in the asian optimization after that you have to move to the p tag you have to know that how you can declare the p tag and what is the purpose of the p tag whether it's a global scope or a functional scope or a block scope so you have to know the scope of the p tag then we have the anchor I hope you guys know what the anchor tag does so this is how it look if you want to create any link you're going to use this anchor then we have the image tag if you want to embed anything in your HTML document you can utilize that after that come the UL tag which stand for unordered list so if you want to build any navigation you can use that UL tag after UL we have OL stand for odd you can use the same way the way you use OL but it ha it is unordered after that we have li so if you want to define the list and generally you will use this li inside inside ul or ol after that we have a div i hope you guys have seen me in my project that i have used this div to create the component so that's the div we have after that we have a span and it's an inline container so generally when you will use the span in a paragraph or in a heading tag so that's not going to take the block scope it will take the inline scope after that we have br tag which stand for break and then we have the hr which stand for horizontal line so if you want to make any line between the two paragraphs you can use this hr tag and you will have a straight line after that we have a table tag you have to know how table tab work so you have multiple way to build the table so just imagine that you are building your tab and in that you are fetching the data from an api or getting the data from the smart contract and you want to render those data in a table form and you can use this table tag to build your entire component so inside the table we have a couple of other tags which you can use so we have tr represent for a row in table and then we have this td which called a cell table then we have th which stand for table header so these are the couple of tags you have to know if you are using the table tag and you can go with the div as well it's totally up to you after that we have the form and form is really very important if you really want to get the data from the user and make an api call and get the data and push into the smart contract so you can use the form because it has a couple of inbuilt actions which you can perform without calling any particular function on that so we have this form after that we have input field the same if you want to take any data from the user you have to know that how you can use the input field what are the types you have available text number and other types emails passwords so there's tons of type we have available in the input which you can use so if you want to take a like file then what is the type you have to know all the types after that we have a button that one is a basic stack in html which allow you to create a button and then we have the text area so if you want to take a like big list of text from the user like huge number of texts from the user and 
pass into your contract so you can take that text area after that we have a select and select generally used for the drop down list so you have a multiple menu and you want to create that drop down list and you can allow user to select that one and then it will reflect on the top so you can use this particular select tag where you can display all the menus which you want to offer to your user after that we have options and this options come under the select tag so that's the thing you have to keep in mind because when you will create the select tag inside that you have to define the option that what are the options you want to provide to your user so these are the important tag you have to master i hope you guys have seen the syntax that how it's look and what are things you have to cover so if you know this much html you are ready to build any type of dap you are ready to build the skeleton of your dap so these are the important tab and the most frequent use tag in html for building our our components so i want you to master just try to follow one or two example of each one of this tag try to see what are the other options are available in the tag that will give you a better idea so if you talk about the images multiple property we can include in this image tag if you talk about the source if you talk about the attribute if you talk about the inline css so you have to check the example so again i'm not going to extend this video too long this is the exact roadmap you have to follow start learning learning about so start learning about each tag one by one do one or two examples try to understand that how you can build that and after that you are ready to start on and build your first app so that's the only thing i want to talk about in this video hope you guys have got a proper idea that how exactly you have to learn and what are the things you have to learn in html without spending too much time so if you give two to three days with this particular html you will learn every single thing i want you to give some time you can easily able to finish this entire html in one hour but i don't want you to do that i want you to give at least three days first day try to see what other properties are available how you can use it in multiple way i show you the best and simplest form of use case but you can make it more complex so just try to follow see the examples try to see that what are the properties that are available in that particular element like in terms of attribute in terms of source so try to look at that and build one or two examples so that that will give you a proper idea so again three days not more than that three days time you have to give for this html and you are ready to build your first dap using this so that's the only thing i want to talk about in this video and again it's very important for a front-end developer and a full stack blockchain developer that to know how you can utilize this html the power of html to build your dap some of you say that front-end is not that important for the blockchain developer yes it is important if you want to work in the front-end full stack the blockchain development if you are focusing on the core blockchain development you can skip that part but right now there is a huge demand for the full stack blockchain developer so if you know to write the smart contract connect the smart contract and build a funded nav where you can provide all the basic functionality with the contract you will be in a plus side so i want you to focus give three days time and you are ready to build your first app and that's the only thing from my end if you want to do to my channel hit like and subscribe that will motivate me a lot and do let me know in the comment section that what else you think that is important to add me in this particular roadmap for html so see you in the next video have a wonderful day bye bye